Tonight, two thugs wanted over a Chapel Street ambush. Jeff Kennett breaks his silence as the Hawks crack the curse. Clive Park brink of an election breakthrough. Call for more air traffic support after a mid-air near miss. And teammates band together for Casey Tatanji. This is Nine News with Alicia Loxley. Good evening. Police are on the hunt for two thugs after a vicious bashing left two men seriously injured in Paran last night. It's hoped CCTV of the frenzied attack will help lead to their arrest. Matthew Snelson reports. Chapel Street this morning and two men make a last-ditch attempt to stop an imminent attack. What follows is frenzied and vicious. One is king hit, the other is pinned, then hit and kicked in the head. At one point, the two friends were even chased out in front of traffic. It was all unprovoked. They're simply walking home from a night out, so uh, there was no demands for money or anything. It appears that the African males were walking the opposite direction and then they back, doubled back on them and got them from behind. This was the result, the beating and the shock all too clear. The 27-year-old men were taken to hospital and treated for various injuries. Concussion by hitting their head on the concrete. One punch, uh, hit your head on the concrete, could be all over. Thankfully, they survived this cowardly ambush with only minor wounds and are now out of hospital. Even the detectives have been shocked by just how brazen and careless the attackers were. At the time, there were people right along Chapel Street and when they were finished, they simply walked off. Bold, maybe, but far from clever. They passed directly underneath a security camera, giving police a perfect view of their faces and the best possible chance of tracking them down. We want people to feel safe at night and walk along feeling safe. Uh, anyone should be able to walk along at that time of night. Matthew Snelson, Nine News. In the news ahead, a cyclist injured after being struck by a tram in St Kilda. The innocent face of the latest US mass shooting. A typhoon bears down on China's southeast coast. And the race for a new iPhone turns nasty. Here's your chance to go behind the scenes of Nine News as we broadcast live from the Royal Melbourne Show. Join Peter Hitchener, Tony Jones and myself, Beth Judd, at the Channel 9 side in the Grand Pavilion. You can even have a go of presenting the news with your starring role emailed home. So, join us at the show. Cashing in on our love of footy. Why sport wants even more money. And how the brewers are reinventing beer. Join me Sunday morning at 10. A cyclist was lucky to escape serious injury after colliding with a tram in St Kilda this afternoon. The accident happened on the corner of Carlisle Street and Brighton Road just after three o'clock. Police were forced to direct traffic while paramedics treated the patient. The man in his 40s was taken to the Alfred Hospital in a stable condition. Well, sport is next with Clint Stanaway. Thanks very much, Alicia. Tonight, the cruelest of blows for a hawk favourite. Also, Buddy denies it's goodbye. How the Dockers' grand plans have hit a snag. And a spring jewel fails to shine at Caulfield. This sports report brought to you by Bet365.com, the world's biggest online sports betting company. Good evening, Buddy. Franklin has failed to shed any light on if next Saturday's grand final will be his last match at Hawthorne. But the superstar forward has eased concerns over his elbow injury, saying he'll be fit and firing. Ayrton Woolley has the latest. Well, a bonus, some handy cash there. Alicia, I'll be back shortly with a live cross to Perth ahead of the big prelim tonight. Look forward to it. Thank you very much, Clint. Well, now it is time for Rebecca Judd with the weather. Beck, how's it looking over in the west for the big game? Thanks, Alicia. Well, with a bit of luck, the rain will hold off until after the final siren. Good news for both players and spectators. It's 20 degrees there now. Closer to home, it's looking fairly impressive for the beginning of the school holiday. Days, the Royal Melbourne Show and all the other spring events. We had an overnight low of six and we passed 19 late this afternoon. A couple of suburbs had showers but nothing significant. A top of just 15 for Frankston, 19 at Werribee. Around Victoria, a cold night down to minus one at Ballarat and there were storms in the north. Not a lot of rainfall from them.
The southeast corner has a cold front intercepting two areas of high pressure and produced late showers down in Hobart. The trough will weaken as it continues to slip away with the high repositioning itself well down to the south and at this stage we should have fine and warm conditions on Monday before the next front arrives. We're now returning with the rest of the day's sport, Clint Stanaway. Thanks very much Alicia and up next we'll have the latest Brownlow betting money pouring in for a star hawk. Also live to Corey Norris in Perth. Clint, I'll have all the team news ahead of the Dockers. Shot at history. A purple haze too at Amy Park as the storm rolls in. And the Kiwis on a collision course with history. Hello again. In just an hour's time, Fremantle and Sydney will do battle for the right to meet Hawthorne in the AFL Grand Final. Live now to Corey Norris over in Perth. Corey, hi. A huge night there. Any team news? Yeah, good evening, Clint. Great news for both sides. No late changes. Now, good news too on the weather front. We've had some pretty wild and wet weather here in Perth over the last few days, but clear skies at the moment, and it is expected to stay that way for the remainder of the game. Of course, the Fremantle Dockers, they are the favourites to get the job done tonight and advance through to their first ever grand final, but they have a pretty big hurdle in the reigning premiers, the Sydney Swans. Now, they have been struck down with injury in recent weeks, but the Swans, they'll be confident if they do bring their A game that they'll fancy themselves on meeting Hawks in the big stage next Saturday. So, Clint, no doubt an intriguing battle unfolding here in Perth tonight. Sure is. Thanks to Corey Norris. Well, Rebecca Judd is back with an update on the weather forecast for the school holidays, Beck. Alicia, it's not looking too bad at all. Although most of the state will see some wet weather this week, the good news is there won't be much rainfall for the grand final next Saturday. I'll have more weather after the break. Hello again. It's been a fine start to the holidays and it looks like warming up as well. An area of high pressure will replace the front that moved through today. And while more fronts are passing the bite, they should just clip our corner. But there could be a few showers for the grand final next Saturday. Interstate tomorrow, stormy conditions in Perth and storms also in Brisbane. Fine and mild in Sydney with a top of 15 for Hobart. Here in Victoria, scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms contracting to the east and clearing by the evening. We could get a few thunderstorms tonight and again again tomorrow around the suburbs. Sunday in Melbourne will be partly cloudy and we could see some scattered showers with the chance of thunderstorms during the morning. A northerly wind should take the maximum to 21 after a low of 12. And the outlook has wonderful holiday weather on Monday, fine and mostly sunny with a top of 25. Just a shower or two on Tuesday, 22. A late shower for Wednesday, 23. Not so good on Thursday, showers and only 16. But back to sunshine next Friday up to 20. So Alicia, not too bad spring school holiday weather. That is great news. Thank you very much, Beck. Well, now let's take a look at tomorrow night's 60 Minutes. Alicia, thank you. Tomorrow night, the NAPLAN school tests dividing a nation. It was like the be all and end all. I just felt so stressed. The results are out. NAPLAN punishes children for making mistakes. It's narrowing the curriculum and dumbing it down. And the verdict is in. Not everybody should be a teacher. That's tomorrow night at 8.15. Alicia, back to you. And that is Nine News for this Saturday. Now, before we go, another addition to the Nine News team. Congratulations to Vicky Jardim and her husband Draghi on the birth of their son, Alexander Louis. We'll leave you now with the images that made news this week. I hope you have a great evening for now. Good night. Being a paraplegic and I fell down now, uh, I don't know how I would have survived. Morning, Jeff. You're fighting the charges? Well, I've got nothing to say at this, this particular time. Morning, you're off the... Liz, would you like to see the relationship with Shane? The ambulance service, the fire brigade and Yarra Tram personnel have just extricated the man from underneath the number 55 tram inbound. 15 units have responded to a carpet business on the Dandenong Frankston Road. A thick plume of toxic black smoke is choking the area. Oh wow, the 